2020. It's been a year none of us will forget, as much as we might like to. And when Next Avenue invited you, our readers, to share your stories, we were overwhelmed by the sheer number of responses. We were moved to hear how you've been finding inspiration, how your lives are changing, and what wisdom you have for us as we learn to move forward together in these challenging times. So to honor that, this is Next Avenue, telling our stories. Hello, my name is Carol Leskin. I am a 75-year-old woman, a retired global human resources director, a lifelong learner, a solo ager, a lover of nature, music, art, and my rescue cat and soul companion, Lovebug. Four years ago, I began a second career as a writer and photographer. I write my personal accounts of growing old, the good, bad, happy, sad, and quirky. They are usually accompanied with my own photographs. This story began as an entry into my journal where I write daily. It helps me to understand the events and emotional content of my day. This is my essay. The question, what do you miss most from your old life? She asked gently. The woman was a stranger sitting next to me in the doctor's office. She looked to be about 50, pretty, with the body of an athlete, well-muscled arms and legs. She was in a wheelchair. I was holding my cane and using my back support. The question surprised me, but I was not offended. For some reason, I felt comfortable answering her. What did surprise me was how quickly and easily I was able to respond. Sailing, I said. Oh, I think I can understand that. For me, it's running, she said with a sigh. We turned our chairs a bit so we could face one another. It seemed appropriate. What is it about sailing that you miss? I laughed. Everything, I thought to myself. The smell of the salt water, the feeling of the wind, the colors of the sky, the sound of the sails as they capture the breeze or the ropes when the wind subsides and they clang against the boat, the seagulls, the laughter of my mates as we flew over the waves, or their grunts when a sudden storm required strength and skill to guide us safely back to port. I looked down at my hands, suddenly embarrassed by my flowery description. She smiled. For me, it's the silence. The only sound, my feet as they hit the ground the feel of the earth beneath me. I used to run mostly on trails in the woods or mountains or on the beach, usually alone. It's the only time I got to be truly me, to hear my thoughts. There were so many people most of the time, too many sometimes. She sighed. We grew quiet. The nurse appeared from behind the door to the rooms where we would each face whatever news the doctor would have. I'm Linda, she said. It was nice talking to you. Carol, I replied. Same here. And she was gone. I've been thinking a lot about that chance encounter. I learned something surprising in those few minutes. It isn't the many physical abilities or pain-free life I led for so many years that I miss the most. I am learning to deal with their loss, reluctantly, sadly, even angrily. Some days better than others, but determined. What I miss is the feeling that there will always be more. More days of sailing, traveling, meeting new people, trying new things, adventure, freedom, limitlessness. Once again, I am reminded of time. The limits aging and now the pandemic impose in various ways. I hear the clock ticking. And I wonder, given my new health challenges, how can I make the most of the time I have left? The ship is sailing, and I am not on board, but I'm still able to stand on the beach. What can I do from here? This essay is part of Telling Our Stories, a series featuring the voices of Next Avenue readers with support from Aroha Philanthropies. To hear more stories and to learn more about us, visit nextavenue.org. Telling Our Stories is a production of Twin Cities PBS.